Well, howdy folks, and welcome to Smoogleville. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I put together this prototype toddler-sized Adirondack chair. Okay, so I've made a few template parts here. These are the key parts, the sort of the main strut that sits everything sort of built off this. So I've had to nuance this quite a bit to get it right. And I think I'm pretty close. There's the leg right there. There'll be a cross piece that holds that up and that'll sit around about there. Then we've got, we got an arm that goes on that as well. And then uh, I've got to make up a few struts in the back parts, but uh, and that's a little core boil for the where the uh, that'll help hold the arm square. So I think the dimensions are, are pretty close. So I'm going to build the first prototype and see see how it comes out with these parts. And if I need to make some adjustments, I can adjust the templates and uh, go from there. So let's start making the making all the parts now and see if we can put this together and actually come up with a you know a basic design for a for a child's Adirondack chair. So the first operation was to trace the templates onto the material I was going to use to actually build the chair and then get busy with the bandsaw carefully cutting out the various shapes starting with the strut there and cutting them two at a time where possible in order to save some time. Then do a little sanding just to get the rough edges off and then start some basic assembly. Getting to an interesting stage in the prototyping here. I've kind of got the basic frame together and this doesn't look too bad. I didn't want it sloping too much uh, because this is going to be young kids sitting on this. So I think I've got the depth right. Uh, by the time I've got boards on here, slats, uh, shaping that out, I think that'll be about right. But uh, And the height seems about right. Yeah, ten and a half. Uh, so by the time I've got that's going to be up at 11 inches, so that should be good. Now the next part is tricky because where's those arms? That's uh, here's an arm. Here's the template for the arm, which is going to sit on top of this leg strut here like that. And this doesn't look bad. But I'm going to have this. It's going to slope back like that, so it's probably going to be about there. So the board. I'm going to screw boards onto here, and if I've got that angle right, they should come up to here, about so high. And then we'll have a strip behind here as well, a strut going that way. Uh, I'm just dry fitting this right now. I won't glue any of the parts yet until I've seen it assemble. But so the next thing I think to do is to build the back part. So I'm going to measure them to about this height. I'm going to kind of guesstimate that. That's probably about 25 inches or so. Oops. Ah, about actually, I wasn't too far. About 22 inches for those looks would look to me to be about the right height if I have an arm on here 22 inches yeah I think that'll be good all right so I'm going to cut those this is one of those interesting moments during a prototyping session where you realize things aren't quite how they need to be and this is this part here hold supports the backs and there'll be some screws going through into these and it, it secures these and this is where you tie this back part to the arm. So there's a lot of strength comes out of that design. And what I've realized is, and you can probably see that just, just there on the camera, this is way too far back. It's gonna look wrong. I'm a good two inches short on these arms. I'd really much rather they were well forward like that. So that's uh, at least two and a half inches short of where it needs to be. So I'm gonna have to redo these arms to a longer length, okay? All part of the fun of prototyping. <laughs> All right, so the next trick is I'm gonna kind of draw the design. I've started to draw it on here, and I was gonna just do the same here, bring that down, and then this one kind of continues that curve and drops off like that. So I'll take each of these off, cut that shape, then use it as a template to draw it on these others, and draw it on the actual to extra template pieces that I've been making for each of these uh, so that we can re reproduce this. But that should look pretty, it's nearly there, isn't it? Just the slats and we're ready to go. <laughs> All right. So I've got the back boards cut, got the back support fitted. 
and got those all screwed on. Next, it was remake the arms time. So I used the old templates to create the new arms. And then over to the bandsaw to cut them out. Next, offer them up, make sure that all fits nicely. Doesn't look too bad. Seems to be in the right place there. The good old shop sander. That tool has been proving very, very good. A real time saver. screws put in now it's really starting to come together at this point really starting to look like something and now I'm just checking out to see what length we're going to be needing for the slats that make up the seat and so I'll be getting on the table saw to get some of that work done let's just get the arms fitted more securely I'm able to use a longer screw there and go in underneath using that that core boil I've made, and it'll hold those nicely. And there it is. That's uh, the basic framework. So, day two on this project, and the fun about prototyping is you kind of have to go back and redo a few things. And we realised last night that these arms are probably too high. Uh, so by the time a toddler's sitting in there, they're going to be like this, right? So I think we need to bring those down a couple of inches. So I'm going back to my original, my original arm length, which was here, uh, which would work if they're at that height, which I think would be a lot better, don't you? So if I mark this uh, there, and I've got a, so I mean, it's really quite low, isn't it? And let's give that a go. You can always lift it back up again and we'll put the parts back in, all right. So we're going to cut these, take these off, and move this down. All right. That's better. That looks a lot better. Right, I get some slats on here. Get those screwed on, get some slats on, and then we're pretty much done with the with the prototype. So yeah, we're in a good place with this right now. So there it is folks, the final, the final article, the toddler sized Adirondack chair. I think that's come out about, it looks about right to me. The next thing we've got to do is the toddler test. So we have a couple of toddlers try it out. I'm thinking ages three to five, the measurements were made for that, that size and that age group. So I'm hoping that uh, somewhere around there would be, would, would, it would enough, have enough width in the base for, uh, toddlers to sit down in and enough length that their feet will pretty much be touching the ground 
so as far as I know, this is pretty close. I've made templates of all the parts, and I will be getting a drawing done for this and get these, these parts drawn up and get something for you to download off my blog once I've finalized this and we know this is all good. So, so if you go on to smoogleville.com, I will have something there for you to download sooner or later once, we, once we've got this design finalized. But this, I'll put some template parts up there that you could print out on a computer and use to draw around to make your own one of these so you can use this pattern once I've got it, once I've got it finalized and completed. So there you go. That, I think, is about as far as we can take this before a toddler test. So we'll see you again. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, check out my blog, smoogleville.com. There's some other projects on there. And uh, like I said, I'll have a download for the for these parts once I've proved this out. So there'll probably be a part two video, and uh, we'll probably get this painted up some pretty colours, and uh, you know, make it look nice. And I think that'll be a be a fun thing for kids so they can sit outside with the adults in the summer and and enjoy the warm weather and so on. So there you go. See you next time, folks. And don't forget, if you like this, like it on the video, and uh, please subscribe. Always happy to have subscribers. So. See you again. Thanks. Please click the like button if you found this video helpful. And we'd love to have you as a subscriber, as there's always something interesting going on in Smooth.